A potato flew around my room. Stop it! Mind you, I'm driving 70 miles an hour in traffic here on a busy freeway with my girlfriend's 12-year-old daughter stroking my head. We had a chemistry from the very beginning. I couldn't believe that she put hot sauce on my head. I assumed it was her brother who didn't like me very much because I was dating his mother. Sentence. I don't know what you're accusing me of. Oh my god, I'm calm. I'm just saying, I wish you did, because I wouldn't have to feel like it's weird. What? What are you saying? I hope you get pussy so you don't feel like you got that aggro frustration and it's all built up on, you know, person like, because I hope not. Like, 
You wanna die, you stupid bitch! I suppose you could have just puked in a bucket instead of all over the floor. Why don't you move before you knock that TV down? So she doesn't have ID if that's what you're looking for. Why? Why? She lost. She Why? lost her ID. Oh my God. Why'd you do this to me? Why? Why? Why, dude? Why? It's going. It's going good. Well. Definitely want to come in for a minute. Okay. I don't want my car safe in this neighborhood. Yeah, for a while. Just don't. We'll, we'll leave in. Don't trip. <laughs> I got this shit. I got to put the storage here. How's it going? Hey, what's up? Seth? Yeah. Patrick. Nice to meet you, man. So, this step. What's up, Chief? <gasps> Jesus Christ. Is what's happening? Thanks. Who's in the back bedroom on the right? Thanks. Vicky? Yes. Yeah. Excuse me. Seth, I've heard a lot about you. Oh yeah? I'm very glad that I finally get a chance to meet you. Same here, man. I feel sorry for you. I hope you can handle it. You're stepping into my blessing. <laughs> <laughs> He just said she's great when she's sleeping. Fucking people, dude. What you doing, a kid? Getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Finally getting out of Lancaster! When I pulled in, driving through, I was realizing how many memories I have of Lancaster, and none of them are good. None of them. I really don't feel like going to the storage unit tonight. Let's just leave everything in the car and then you can dig through what you need. Just go to the hotel, and deal with the storage tomorrow. Alright. You hungry at all? Um, yes. Turn right onto West Avenue, J2, then turn right onto Sierra Highway. Okay. Alright. So, just so, I, so it's not sneaky, you should know these are not my glasses. <laughs> These are not my glasses. Look closely in the very middle, between the eyes. See the little hole there? Yeah. It's a camera. <laughs> oh, that's a trip. That's cool. What's the camera for? That's cool. I mean, I've always wanted to be able to do sneaky fucking... Sneak up. That's cool. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's really cool. That's dope. So, how bad is the storage unit, you ask? <laughs> you wonder aloud. Oh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> That's all going to go in the next 48 hours. La da 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 da.
da da. Holy shit! There's a lot of shit to deal with in this shit. Fucking shit. Holy shit. Look at all this shit! Oh, kill, kill me now, Lord. Why don't you? Just please, lightning, if you would. Thank you. So even after packing all of this, that, 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 See the whole, <laughs> see, even after all that has been pulled out of the storage unit, storage unit still looks like this. <laughs> Isn't that glorious? Oh, kill me now, Lord. Seriously, please. All my makeup, all of it, all of it though. All of it, no more. No more makeup. No more makeup, no more. No more makeup now, huh? I ain't got none now. I have never seen your makeup. I don't know where it is. But it's been it's... slowly disappearing lately. Slowly? So someone's been sneaking in here and taking a piece it at a time? It seems like you're just keeping me from being able to just do my makeup lately. Why? Do you think I stole your makeup? I hope not. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna trust you. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't understand how this It's been really randomly I don't know what's going on, it's dude. Okay, I didn't say it was about dope. You just spring. Hey, I know we're, you know, by the clock and everything and haven't done anything for a week, but can I hang out and party one last night? Again? I know I said the other night would be the one last party night, but this is going to be the one last party night. I'm sorry. I mean, eventually it's going to be the one last party night, but it just seems like there's always another one. It's already them. I might be packing while you're gone. Just your stuff. You think I'm going to have my You think I'm going to have my I'm going to get Not smart, though. Not smart. It's not smart, okay? I'm sorry. This is you not on the door? Oh, this is no, no. This is me flipping out. Last time I did this, I actually went to jail. Yeah, that's bad. So why do you make it so hard for me? What I do? What I do? Can you tell me what I did? You can't remember what I you just knew you were mad at me. I'm out of stress. Oh, stop it, please. That CBD stick changed everything. It radically changed the course of our lives just then. Two hits on the CBD stick and she was gone. No, go for it. It calms you down very well. You should have that within an arm's reach at all times, please. Okay, that's yours and keep it right handy. Thank you. Okay. Some water in the There's water in the freezer. Grab water in the freezer before it freezes and blows a hole in the fucking wall. I love you. I'll be right back, I promise. Okay.
Audrey's asses are in there and she sits watch over us. Yeah. So let's talk about reconstruction, sure. <laughs> What kind of nipples do you want? Mm, well, after they put in the, the fake boobies, okay, I'm gonna get the tattoos on my nipples and they're not gonna be normal. It's gonna be like a rose blooming and a butterfly. So it'll just be funky, because you know, it's not too many times you get to design your own nipples. And um, God likes to do all that. And and, and he doesn't give you any choice. And, um, anywho, so then, um, they could stick in a little metal nipple, and, you know, instead of like the kind they make out of your thigh, they stick in a metal nipple, it's cool. And it, it, I can like have one with the points in it, so I can poke people, you know, be a sadistic women killer and everything, you know, after young guys and stab them to death. Mm, mm, mm. Right? With my little pokey boobies. Destiny Bowling, you're supposed to say hi to me, right? He's an actual old friend from a long time ago and he's just in town. I was supposed to say hi to him today. I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to go to the bank. I'm going to go to the bank. Wherever you want to go, you name the destination that's where this van is going, ma'am. Where would you like to go? the van of dreams son so is it, we're going to Lancaster is that what's happening shit. to the place I picked you up at that's where we're going then I, appreciate you I mean we're in the car we're driving might as well drive where you want to go I mean right
Because I don't like being downgraded. I don't like feeling like I'm being judged on the pedestal of whether or not I'm being broken up with. You don't want to put yourself in this situation. No, dude, that's what I'm saying. That's bullshit. Yes, I need you around me. You don't get it. If you don't want me around you, then we're done! We're done! <laughs> Destroyed that worm's feelings. You stepped on it. See how you do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Give you a little more. <laughs> I'm gonna drop most of it off your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You want to be in your little outfit that's way too small for you, and you hate that always covers your head that you can't see. <laughs> 
Why would you not want to get in that? Isn't that your favorite thing? sweet and sour sauce on the all of it don't want to get too sticky all over my pussy let's see how it goes sweet and sour kitty you know you want Seth cleans the pussy. <laughs> Get that pussy nice and clean. Aww. Aww. Yeah, kitty, you like that? Oh, yeah, kitty. There's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> good stuff in it, kitty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're not happy now, are you? Someone dump fucking sweet sour sauce all over you. <laughs> Get the back, her back a little bit, right by her harness. And then right here by her ears. It was a present, bitch. You're welcome. Now you're sweet. You're welcome. You were already sour. Uh. Where you going, Kitty? Where you going? My God, I got to wash you. I can't you. I can't deny it. You need cleaning. Don't fight it. I know, I know, I know, and I think it's worth it. I guess I found that worth it, kitty. Clean your face, you dirty whore! Oh, <laughs> oh look at her! Oh, tangled up and. Oh, yeah. I'm getting all out of you. You're on a nasty, mean step away. <laughs> okay, can you say one? Two? Three? She doesn't count very well. <laughs> <laughs> she's not say good. something! She was talking before the camera was on. She got a camera shot. You love me? You love me? No? You love me? I don't know. I didn't want to do this. <laughs> I want out of the picture. It's the video they made me. Oh, fuck this thing. <laughs> Forever we are young. Storm is on the rise. Backhoe to come fix our trailer, your trailer. I've got a bull player, are you? 
Well, it's a good time to learn then, isn't it? <laughs> what are you so quiet about? Come on. I just don't feel like you. That's all right. If you don't feel good, make yourself feel good. <laughs> Even if it's wrong. <laughs> So I'll play a game. I'm going to shoot some pool. Huh? You playing? Oh, you shooting I'm pool? for you and her to play. Uh, I'll play a game. I want to see her beat you. Huh? Shoot a game pool. Hey, you, you want anything? Water? Coffee? Or? Um, I'll help myself. I'll get it. Huh? I'll get it. You didn't have any children then? No. What are you doing? Using the wrong end? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see your face turn red now. <laughs> I see you got a beard on for tickling it. <laughs> oh boy. Exactly what you mean by that. Well, because Victoria doesn't have a dad, and her mother died. So I want to know who you think is responsible for her. Nobody's responsible. She's responsible for herself. From the time she was 16, she's supposed to be responsible for herself, even though she has a disability. You've been with her since she's 16? Yes, I've been taking care of her since her mother You're died. taking care of her? Yes, helping out. You've been having, having sex with her? I've never had sex with her. Never once. We've never done anything like that. I was with her mother, not her. Never. You can ask her. She'll tell you. It's never happened. <laughs> I'm taking care of her because I promised her mother, Audrey, Audrey Marie, I promised her that I would take care of Victoria. And I brought Victoria up here to see if you would help because I know you're near the end of your life and you probably want to go to heaven. <laughs> What about her father? Why don't you go to him? He won't even he won't even admit that he's her father. So there is no father. So I've been helping since she was 16. And before that, I helped Audrey when she was dying of cancer. You weren't I, married to her. No, I wasn't married to her. We were engaged. She's just shacking up there. We were, we were engaged. Living with her. I was taking care of her because she was dying of cancer. I was wiping her ass before she died because so she could die at home with her kids. Don't holler at me. Well, don't don't judge me. You're in no position to I'll judge me. If I want to. Well, then I can judge you as well. You've been doing it. No. Oh, the hell you haven't. Well, yeah, I probably have because you better you're, quit it then. Well, then you better quit it. Well, I'll quit it if you will. I'll kick your ass out of here right quick. Do you know that? I, of course I know well, that. I got to pick up a phone, call a cop, and your ass is out. I know that. Well, you better think about it before you get to, on your high horses. I don't like being judged when I gave you up my life. Judge other people. Well, all I know is what Audrey told me about you. I don't know anything else. Audrey don't know me. Well. This is all she knows about me is is what? Just seeing me. That's all. She don't know anything else about me. Well, she, she thought she did. How I live. She thought she did. No, she doesn't. No, well, she's dead now, but there's no way to. All I know is what she told me. She wasn't even around me much. No. She wasn't. She didn't know you very well. She loved Audrey. That she loved her grandmother Audrey. She really. She talked well about her. I didn't. Uh, in fact, I can picture Audrey. That's how much I. No oh, really? I'll next time I'm in town. I'll download a couple videos so you can see. We made some videos before she died. We can show them to you. Okay. Uh, I'll take a look. Yeah. Okay, I just can't picture it. Yeah. What's the problem? Let go of me! I swear to Jesus, if you do not let go of me, Moses will kill you. Oh, 
fun in your hug. Who <laughs> didn't know where you were going? Recycling stuff, yeah. Huh? The recycling bottles there, yeah. They don't belong there. Where would you like me to put them? You take them to the dump. Should I walk there with? I don't give a damn what you do with them. I get them out of here. Okay, that makes sense. I'll take them on the bus. You make sure you do. Okay. It's a bunch of bullshit what you're pulling. What I'm pulling? Yeah. Well, if you hadn't run off the one person who would have fixed this, we'd be leaving in it now. Huh? Been lying about things to, uh, to other people about this? Excuse me? What have I been lying about? Why don't you ask Dave? What did I lie about? Why don't you ask? Why me? don't you tell me? Because all I told Ava was the truth. So why don't you tell me why what you, was a lie? Why don't you tell me? Tell Ava then. That you ran off the one person who would have fixed this. So now I'm stuck here. You're stuck here. Mm -hmm. You get your ass out of here tonight. No, I don't think so. You are gonna get it out tonight or I'm gonna call the police on you. You call the police, I'll tell them that, you that you're a child molester. You want to go there? Yes. You do? Yeah. I got three different people I can have them call. You can do it. Stop. Do it. Stop. Because the vehicle won't run, so I can't leave. Is that difficult for you to understand? You have two feet. Are you retarded? You are. What does my two feet have? Am I going to walk to California with the cat and all the stuff? Am I going to pull the RV how behind you, me? How did you get here? I rented a U-Haul truck and drove all the way up here. And then you guys, and then they gave us an RV that doesn't run. Okay. So we had somebody who was going to fix it. But Colin insisted that that person not be allowed to fix it. And in exchange, Colin was going to pay to fix it. Now, Colin's not willing to pay to fix it. So what am I supposed to do? Up and leave. Go away. Go do whatever. Why would I do that? Because this is not your property. All it's doing is causing problems for everybody. Why do you want to stay here? Do you understand what? Problems? This, this was not causing problems. The only reason this whole fight happened was because he kept asking to see his great-granddaughter's breasts. And when she told him that, he flipped out and tried to call me a liar. So your, grand, your father is a pervert. Because he's a pervert, all of this is happening. He's a liar and a pervert. How did that get in here? That's the whole reason this fight happened. He tried to kick me off the property because I told Ava. What I, Vicky told Ava too. Vicky told you some of the things he was saying. No, 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 no. She no, told you? No, 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 nobody. I don't know nothing about that one. You better watch out. Okay. Yeah, you better watch out. You watch out. But... The yeah. whole thing is, is... The whole thing is that the old man's a pervert who has gone back on his word. So okay. all he has to do He's is... He's gone back on his word. Big deal. Leave. Are you kidding? No. I can't leave until He's he keeps gonna, his word. He's not going to do anything. Well, then we're going to go in front of a judge and... Yeah, yeah, yeah we're going to. And it's going to be your word against his. Except that I have the papers. For what? It says that he promised that he would do that? Mm -hmm. He signed papers. Uh -huh. I want to see him. Well, you'll see him in court. I don't think so. Okay. Okay, and I, you know they have to investigate it, right? They have to investigate it, but I tell them that you molested your granddaughter. You want to go there? Fuck! Huh? You want to go there? You want to go there? You want to bring the police into it? I'm not leaving. I have the English permission to stay in the church property. Well, now I got your 
you on tape hitting me, you dumbass? No, I want to see him now. No, you don't. What? Hey, because I'm not going to show you anything now. We'll see it in court if you want to see it. Because I do not believe that he signed any papers saying that, yes, he promised that he would do that. In exchange, we both, we, I sat there around the table with him and Victoria. He made Vicky write out a piece of paper saying she promised Jeff Martin wouldn't work on it. And in exchange, he said that he would fix it. Okay, now well, it's not fixed. Him. I will go ask him. Now, now and if it had just been the carburetor, I would be gone. But the carburetor isn't it. It's not my fault that the carburetor wasn't the only thing wrong with it. This was a gift. It's not my fault that the gift is faulty. The gift has already cost me $500. I don't have the money for the gas to get out of here, never mind to finish fixing it. And he said he would. So if he's going to go what? back in his word and he's going to be a Why fucking pervert about it, that's his problem. Why did it cost you $500? Let's see. I bought a battery. I bought the, the fuel pump. I bought all kinds of uh, fluids to put in it. I got all the receipts. I put almost $500 into it. Well, that's good. I'm glad you did, but still, I don't but, see how it's my dad's fault. You tell me it's okay for him to ask his 21-year-old granddaughter to show up over and over again. The whole time she was here, she kept coming back into the trailer all pissed off because all he kept doing is trying to get her to sleep with him, get her to show him his tits, making disgusting comments to her. You think that's appropriate? No, I don't. Well, that's what this whole argument was about because I said it to her, oh, she said it to him, hey, and he hey, called hey, me a liar. Hey. I didn't see. I didn't hear that. You didn't no, I, mean, I told you that today. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say nothing. You had to have said something, and that's the whole reason of the fight. He said that I. He said that I lied to you about the stuff I said about Vicky. No, I didn't. I didn't hear that. Well, that's what he said. I didn't see that, and I didn't hear it. Well, that's what he was mad at. I got it on videotape. He, he I come over. Why didn't know. you leave with Vicky when she left? Because the RV isn't fixed. So, but what's going on? If that is true, if my dad did that, why would you stay here? Because the agreement was we were going to get it fixed. Why would I stay? What do you think I'm staying for my health? You think I like living in a trailer, Maybe washing you dishes? Leave with what relationship are you with Vicky? I'm her godfather. Because your mother died in my arms. Not that anyone in this family seems to care. Yes, they do. Really? They care very much. Then yeah. why is it okay for, for Victoria to be treated like this? She is counting I have on no this. Idea. I she wasn't is, here. She's so counting on this trailer to live in. Do you have any idea how upset she is that it's still not ready to go? And it would be ready to go if your father kept his word. But not only is he a pervert, but he's a liar. Do I go to jail tonight? Oh, no, I'm getting the shit out of you. Well, now you're going to jail because I got you on camera, you dumbass. Get over there right now. Yeah, no, we're going to we're going to call the cops now. Yeah. This is a video camera. And you just punched me in the face. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit me again. Hit me again, you fucking pervert. Come on, you pervert. You pervert, it's okay to ask your 21 year old great granddaughter to show you tits. Is that fucking right, you fucking pervert? I did. You yeah, you did it over and over again. Every time you were. Don't you dare fucking hit me. Yeah. This is a. No, but you're gonna go to jail tonight, Colin. Huh? This is fun. Well, it's gonna be fun in jail. This is a video camera, you dumbass. I'm calling the police on you right now. You just punched me on camera, you fucking idiot. This is a video camera. You have any idea how difficult it was to not tell him off that whole time? When she'd come back almost in tears? Because he'd say, every time he'd get her alone, he'd say, ask her to show him her, her, her tits. And we'd make crude comments about, about feeling her up. Or about the, he took her down the road here and said, hey, am I going to get lucky? 21-year-old granddaughter. She's had enough problems in her life. She doesn't know who her dad is and her mom died a few years ago. So all she needs is this RV to be fixed. And if he isn't going to keep his word and do that, well, then I'm stuck here as long as I can be. So until... why did she come up here in the first place? I brought her up here hoping that her family would help her. And he said he was going to. Why didn't she go to her dad's? She doesn't have a dad. Her, or I mean her grandpa. He is broker than I am. 
He, we did. We went there first. He gave her, he filled up the gas tank. That was the extent of his donation. He filled up the gas tank. He gave her $100 oh, worth of gas so, so she could what? get here. No, you're going to be in jail tonight. You're, do, you, do you not understand that I'm videotaping this? You fucking idiot. I just videotaped you assaulting me, Colin. You're going to jail tonight. I just videotaped you punching me in the face. You fucking idiot. Yeah, I almost said it again. So you did do it before. I'm calling the police on him right now. He's gonna. I'm pressing charges, Ava. He's trying to kick me out tonight. Like I have anywhere to go. I'm not leaving. I'm, if anything, I'm calling you the police. Are and, I'm going to call the police and I'm going to show them the video of you punching me. Please. You don't. You think it's okay to punch somebody in the face? I'll kick you in the face again. No, 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 that's go ahead. Come on. Go. Do it no, on no, camera no, again, no. you fucking idiot. Come on, no. go away. Go. Don't. No, the I'm calling the police then. You're the one who asked to see your great granddaughter's tits, you fucking pervert. I never even messed with my granddaughter. Yeah, you. Because she turned you down. You kept asking. I never asked you. You liar. You're a fucking liar. I'll get her on the phone to the cops right now. No, all right. You tell the cops, you fucking pervert. And we'll call everyone else that you've asked. We'll call everyone else that you fucking... Oh, I hope you do that. Yeah? Well, they have to investigate when I tell them that Audrey said that you used to molest your granddaughter. That's what Audrey told me about you. I used to molest my granddaughter? Yeah. Now, do you think your granddaughter's going to protect you after what you just did threatening her boyfriend? Do you know I don't know my granddaughter? Uh, uh, other girl? Teresa. She wasn't even around here. Teresa, you you raised Teresa, you fucking idiot. She wasn't idiot. even around here. You raised her. You, I got you on camera saying that you used to raise her here. And Audrey told me you molested her. I never let molested any of my children. Well, then why did you try to ask your great-granddaughter to show you her breasts multiple times she, while she what? was here? You kept uh, asking Vicky to show you her tits. You're a damn liar. Well, Vicky's going to back me up. And so is plenty of other people. I'll call her a damn liar, too, now. Okay. And, and let's see. Right, she's going to do that. You want to back? I'm going to make sure she don't come down here. That's, you're going to be in jail, Colin. You're going to be in jail tonight. You're going to be in jail. I'm pressing charges for you punching me, and I have videotape to show the fucking cops. So have fun. You're scared of a bitch. I'm not scared, Colin. I'm calling the cops. I'm not punching an old man, an old fucking pervert. If I kicked your... You know how mad badly I want to kick your ass for being a child molester? You have any idea? You fucking child molester. You're going to jail tonight, Colin.